Hey, what's up guys? Hope you are just enjoying your vacation and your home. So, let's begin a maths for 2.2 exercise. Hope you have just seen my earlier video that is based on 2.1 exercise that is linear equation in one variable. That is 2.1 exercise. As you have done in your fair copy also because we are just doing in a flow and you have to do in your fair copy also. So, let's begin 2.2 exercise of linear equation in one variable. Let's begin reading this question as if you are not having this question in your book. So, go to NCRT class 8 chapter 2 2.2. You will find the questions in that in Google. So, if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number and multiply the resulting by 1 by 2, you get 1 by 8. What is the number? Question is that let's take a number, let's take a variable. Is you have 1 by 2 subtract karna hai, then 1 by 2 se multiply karna hai. It's written a number and multiply by 1 by 2. Then whatever the uh, answer is equal to 1 by 8. So let's take a number x according to question. Bola hai 1 by 2 se subtract karenge and usi number ko 1 by 2 se multiply karenge. Brackets dhyan se lagayega and the resultant is equal to 1 by 8. So 1 by 1 is multiply karenge. 1 by 2 multiply by x gives x by 2. 1 by 2 multiply by 1 by 2 that is minus 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 8. When the minus sign goes to the another with makes a positive sign, right? So minus 1 by 4 udhar jake plus 1 by 4 ho jayega. Here we have to take the LCM. Amko 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 as you have studied in the 7th standard and you have done a lot of questions in the 7th standard. So on the base of this one, we just need to take the LCM and after the solving, we are just getting x by 2 equal to 1 plus 2 divided by 8. That is 3 by 8. Now, it's need to cross multiply here. 2 either jake multiply ho jayega. 3 into 2 divided by 8. You can simplify also as simplification kya hai? Numerator or denominator ko hum cut kar sakte hai. 2 1s are 2 4s are. So here x is equal to 3 by 4. This is my number. Jo mujhe number chahiye tha x. This is basically my number that is 3 by 4. Hope you have understood the first one. So let's begin question number 2 of 2.2 exercise. The perimeter of rectangular swimming pool is 154. Its length is 2 meter more than. Dhyan se. Its length is 2 meter more than twice of its breadth. What is the length and what is the breadth? Yahan par ek swimming pool hai. Jiska perimeter kahin na 154 meter de rakha hai. And jiska length hai. Wo 2 meter more than twice of its breadth hai. So let's take breadth as x and length as 2x plus 2. Toki baha par bola hai 2 more than twice of its breadth. So perimeter you know that 2 length plus breadth hota hai. Right? 154 is the perimeter and putting the length and breadth values here. What is the length? Length is basically 2x plus 2. What is breadth? That is x. You know that 2x plus 2 that come 3x and 3x plus 2. Jab ye bracket hai, iska matlab ki 2 yaha par bhi multiply hoga, 2 yaha par bhi multiply hoga. Because maths mein kabhi bhed bhaav nahi hota. Bhed bhaav means ki jase mene ek ko achcha pada diya, dousre ko achcha nahi pada hai. Right? Matlab 2 iske saath bhi multiply hoga, 2 iske saath bhi multiply hoga. When 2 multiply goes with the 3x, we are getting 6x. 2 into 2, that would be 4. Ab kya hoga, is 4 ko mein idhar bula lunga. Jo chiz positive ke sign hoti hai, wo chiz idhar akar negative mein ho jai hai, right? 154 minus 4, that comes 150 equal to 6x. Ab kya hoga, ye 6 or x multiplication mein hai. To ye idhar akar divide mein ho jai ga. So 150 divided by 6 is equal to x. Mene side mein simplification kar liya hai. 2 3s are, 2 75s are, 3 1s are, 3 25s are. So x is 25. The answer nahi hai aapka. Answer, abhi to ye breadth aya hai. x is equal to 25. That come, breadth is equal to 25 centimeter. Unit ka khas khayal rakhe ya. Now, length ke upar. x ki jo bhi value hai ye, wo yaha hum dal denge. That comes 2 into 25 plus 2. 
that is 50 plus 2, that is 52 centimeter. Here we come with the third question. Okay, time ki kami hai, to thoda sam speed me jayenge. Okay, sum of two numbers is 95. If one exceeds the other by 15, find the number. So, hum linear equation in one variable chal raha hai. So, hume one variable matlab kya? X, Y, Z, in sab ke saath hume khelna hoga. But is chapter mein kaun sa variable zada famous hai? That is X. So, let the number be X. According to question, if one is exceed by the other by 15, matlab dousra jo number hai, wo 15 se bada hai. So, X plus 15. According to question, un dono hi number ka jo sum hai, wo 95 hoga. So, x plus x plus 15 is equal to 95, right? x plus x, 2x plus 15 equal to 95. Iske baad to solve karna aapko aata hi hai. Kaise? Dekh lete hai hum. 15 jo positive hai, udar ja ke negative ho jayega. Or 95 minus 15, that come 80. When do cheese multiply me rati hai, udar ja kar divide ho jata hai. So 80 divided by 2, that come 40. This is your first number, that is 40. What is the other one? That is x plus 15, 40 plus 15, that is 55. Hence, the two numbers are 40 and 15. 40 and 15, ki 40 and 55. Yes, thodi ye galtiyan dhyan se rakhe. To pehla number aya aapka 40, dousra number aya aapka 55. So, चलिए अब हम आगे बढ़ते हैं और next question की तरफ बढ़ते हैं. That is question number four. Two number are in ratio five ratio three. If they differ by eighteen, what is the number? ध्यान से जब भी ये ratio आता है, मेरा ये ratio बहुत ज़्यादा favourite होता है. जब भी ये ratio आएगा, तो हमको number consider करने पड़ते हैं five x और three x. जैसे five ratio three है. So, we have to take a linear equation in one variable. So, we have to take a variable to take a variable. So, when the ratio comes, we will take 5x or 3x. Question is, they differ by 18. The difference of both is 18. So, 5x minus 3x, that is 18. 5x minus 3x, what is it? Yes, 2x hota hai. Very good. All brilliant students are there in my class. So, 2x is equal to 18. Jab do cheez multiply rati hai, udar ja kar, divide ho jata hai. So, x is equal to 18 divided by 2. x is your 9. Ye answer nahi hai aapka. Answer, abhi to humko ye 5x ho 3x chahiye. Matlab, ye x ki value mein 5x ho 3x mein daalunga. Kaise? 5 into 9, that is 45. 3 into 9, that is 27. Hope so, table to aapko aati hi hogi. Right? So, this is our fourth question. Moving to our next question. So, the next question is something related to the integers. That is three consecutive integers. Consecutive? Ye kya hota hai? Three consecutive integers add up to 51. What are the integers? Matla, consecutive. Ek ke baad ek. Sunday ke baad Monday, Monday ke baad Tuesday, same as it is, let the three consecutive numbers are x, x plus 1 and x plus 2, ek ke baad a, to pehla hua x, dousra hua x plus 1, teesra hua x plus 2. Now, according to question, kisi ne dhyan diya, mein a slash c likh ra hoon, ye kya hota hai, according to According ka short form hota hai a slash c. Okay. So, three consecutive integers are x, x plus 1 and x plus 2. They add up to get you 51. Toh hum tino ko add karengi or hume 51 milega. Toh x plus x plus x, 3x. Yes. 1 plus 2, 3. Now, you know that how to solve this one. Fata, 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 jaldi se solve karo or jaldi se check karo ki aap ka answer, mera answer match hota hai ki nahi. So, here we come with a solution. 3 ko hum us side le jayenge. 51 minus 3. 3x is equal to 48. Jab do cheez multiply rata, udha ja ke divide ho jayega. x ki value ajayegi 16. Ye answer nahi hai. 
अब हमको ये थ्री इंटीजर्स निकालना होंगे सो एक्स की वैल्यू सिक्सटीन आ गई सिक्सटीन प्लस वन सेवनटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस टू एटीन तो सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन आर माई थ्री इंटीजर्स ये सब आपको अपनी अपनी नोटबुक में भी लिखना है राइट right? जो जो मैं क्वेश्चन कराते जा रहा हूँ वो नोटबुक में भी करते जाइए और आगे आगे आप खुद से भी क्वेश्चन करना होगा सो मूविंग टू आर द नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो सो हियर वी कम द लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज द एजेस ऑफ राहुल एंड हरूम आर इन द रेशियो ऑफ फाइव इज टू सेवन यू नो दैट जब भी रेशियो आएगा हम उसे एक्स कहीं ना कहीं कंसिडर करेंगे ही Four year later, the sum of their ages will be 56 years. What is the present ages? So let the ages of Rahul and Harun be 5x and 7x. Four year later, four years later, two of them will be older. That's not true. Rahul will be older, Harun will be younger, and so on. So four years later, both of their ages will be 5x plus 4, and Harun's will be 7x plus 4. Rahul's will be 5x plus 4, Harun's will be 7x plus 4. According to question, दोनों की ages का sum 56 होगा. After solving, we are getting x is equal to 4. ये आपका answer नहीं है. X की value है. Now answer तो उनकी ages है that is 5x and 7x. उनकी हमको present age find करनी है. तो 5 into 4 that is 20 years. Harun की 7 into 4 that is 28 years. This is about the Harun and the Rahul. आपको बाकी के क्वेश्चन होमवर्क भी करना है प्रैक्टिस भी रखना है और जो जो मैंने क्वेश्चन कराया है वो आपको फेयर नोटबुक में उतारना भी है एंड मन से प्रैक्टिस भी करना है चल देन गुड बाय सी यू मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय